Good morning, everybody. Here I am in uh, another World Wake Sealed. I think this might be my last one. Uh, so opening, sorting by rares. I've got a Nova Blast worm. I'd love to try that out. Uh, but I do see two awesome blue sphinxes, uh, Goliath and of Lost Truths. There's also a Wildwood here, and, and Death Shadow is a card that um, I was impressed with the last time I ran. It's a cheap threat for later in the game that you can drop at the same time as keeping mana open for something else you may need to play. Um, oh, Grappling Hook is not a card that I like very much, although I've seen it played plenty. So I'm going to start by looking at blue, because uh, ideally that's where I go, I think. Um, so, I have a Snapper and a uh, Tide Force Elemental, both cards that go well with my late game Sphinxes. Um, this is Endicon, Aether Figment, Into the Royal, and two Trade Winds for some bounce, a Paralyzing Grasp, and uh, not much else. There's a Tempest Out, which is playable, Twitch, I guess, is playable, and Lethargy Trap is also playable. Okay, so uh, on to the next color. In black I see uh, Caustic Crawler, Mind Sludge, Hideous End, that's pretty good. Dead Reckoning I, is not a card that I'm very excited to open, but in some builds it might be it might be good. Uh, so there's a couple playable vampires. Last Raider is not so good in Sealed. Could be in the right deck. Another Call Blade. The Gatekeeper is good. It's Giant Scorpion. And there's an ally. There's a corrupted Zendicon. Okay, so there's some other uh, playables there too. So black, black's pretty deep and has some nice cards in it. Um, so so far it looks like a pretty decent pool. I'm gonna move on. Check out white. So there's a uh, Arrow Volley Trap, Iron of the Judgment, Refraction Trap, Hookmaster, Firecrawler. It doesn't look like white's going to be a main color, though, so I don't think that's going to be playable. Uh, Pillar Field Ox is also a decent filler, but yeah, so white's not white's not very deep. There's a couple maybe splashable cards, if that's an option. Um, looking at red, there's a Spark Mage, which I'm uh, even happy to splash. It's quite strong. A lot of X1s in the format. And well, some playable creatures, but but not not very deep. So red red is gonna stick on the side for now. Um, in green, so I have to remember in white. I uh, well, white wasn't deep really deep enough that I think that Nova Blast Erm is that Worm is gonna be an option here. But I'll take a look at green. So Hunter Basilisk Gladeheart Creeper Chosen. So some cheaper creatures, some pump. There's an ally, but I, I, this does not seem like an ally pool. I have the hunter and, and survivalist in green, but they're pretty few and far between beyond that. There's the join of the ranks, but uh, this doesn't look like a an ally build. Um, yeah. So I think. Uh, well, it looks like I might be running blue black again. I've I've been running it pretty often, actually. Uh, looking at my artifacts, I have uh, a puma, which is nice to have access to. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye, uh, Walking Atlas is a card I'd I'd like to try playing some more with. Um, especially with some expensive cards I can uh, accelerate into. It's also, it's, I mean, I guess it's, it's a little bit better with some landfall triggers as well, but uh, yeah, it also blocks Intimidate creatures, which is less of a problem when you're in black, because red only has the uh, two toughness variety. There's also a Kite Seal and a Blazing Torch. So yeah, Grappling Hook is really not it's 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 way too expensive, I think. Even I mean, 
even if you know you're safe from bounce removal for the time being, eight mana is a lot to invest. Eight mana in over two turns is a lot to invest. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start by uh, well, I'm just looking for, at splash options. Well, I have a red green duel, but it doesn't look like red or green are our main colors here, or splashes. So, um, no help there. The uh, pilgrim's eye could be helpful for splashing. So, um, I'll start by keeping the white in the sideboard, and I'll see what the deck looks like. So. This is the uh, blue black build. Um, so I'm going to. This is not looking to be an aggressive deck, I don't think. Um, it has some early drops. Well, uh, there's only there's only a couple late game creatures: the crawler, sphinx, and the two sphinxes. Um, how much removal do I have? I don't have that much. Gatekeeper. A little awkward to want to run Gatekeeper with Sphinx. They both require triple blue, uh, tri triple of their own colors. Well, to kick the Lost Truths one. You don't need to kick it for it to be good, though. Um, so it makes splashes a little harder, especially with a snapper. But beyond that, the, the color requirements aren't all that crazy. Um, hmm. Yeah, so, but I don't think this is the kind of deck that wants to run a Vampire Lacerator. Or uh, a Bloodseeker. Uh, Cullblade's a little bit better. Blocks early and, and could be a little bit bigger later. Um, there's a Figment, which is a good late game creature as well. Uh, so, I'm going to sort by spells here. Um, because I'm lacking removal it might be worth thinking about splashing for the white removal. I had a Judgment and a Refraction Trap, I think, are the two splash-worthy cards there. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. Okay, so th these are the cards I might want to run. Uh, Kite Sail is okay. I have some guys on the ground. I don't have that many flyers. That Kite Sail is going to do nothing. It's, this is, But it, it still could get a cut here. Dead Reckoning could possibly get the cut if I don't think it's going to be good often enough. Um, Two Zendikons, uh, but uh, they're both they're both pretty decent. Uh, and they they don't have to be played that early to be good, because it's it, it's tough to play a Zendikon early. So so uh, Solstair Expedition is a card that I've haven't been so impressed with lately. I've I, I liked it before a lot. And but this is the kind of deck where it might be decent. I have the Sphinx, some nice creatures, some nice big creatures that are worth bringing back, and a gatekeeper with an end to the battle. A gatekeeper with two trade wins is also pretty good. A bit of a bad combo with a grasp though. Um I'm not sure that that merits cutting a grasp, but uh, it's a little bit awkward. Okay, so what's going to get the cut here? Uh, the mind sludge. How good is the mind sludge going to be here? Well, I have a couple cards that want me to go heavy black, and a couple heavy blue, and then I want to also splash white. So 